Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at Colt, who is a filmmaker, creator. He works and worked with a lot of influencers, creators, YouTubers. I know him from working with Kelly Okasa, you can see here. So I watched this video. This video kind of came up and the first, I would say like minute after watching it, I was like, I got to do a video for you guys. So let's break it down. I didn't watch it all the way through, but I could just tell that it's going to be a good video. So let's jump into it. It's called, I actually chased my dreams for one year. This is what happened. A lot can change in a year. I've found that life is where you make it out to be. If you choose to do nothing, you'll stay exactly where you are. But if you start to chase after your dreams, you can change so much in a year that you'll be unrecognizable. Boom. Hold on. I there were just so many quick. shots in there. The shot right here, the background being in focus. Such a nice shot. You can change so much in a year that you'll be unrecognizable. Hold on, I gotta pick something up real quick. So many different shots there. Yeah, One uh, low angle of him riding, and then the back of the wheel, the city bike. Can I get a pack of reds? Nope. It's my birthday. I just bought my first pack of cigarettes. So the dynamic there of it being such a wide shot from across the street, there's so many things going on. The car's going by, him being mic'd up and still listening to the conversation, as well as the text in the top. The subtitles, just such a nice touch. I'm just kidding. I don't smoke. Never have, never will. You probably shouldn't either. Anyways. Today's my sound effects. And I thought it'd be cool to reminisce Oof. today and see how many different shots he gets, like that, the the movement of it going down onto the you know the Lego cake what it looks like and then this shot so this shot putting your camera inside of a bag i've done this a couple times but differently when you know you have a very specific bag maybe it's a small bag and you want to shoot in it you know you could cut the bottom out of this just looks like his regular backpack that he kind of just laid the camera down but you know how hard it is to get a shot like this if you were doing everything manual the exposure is a little tough and then getting the focus onto here but you can see that the movement of the camera is going with um, his hands. Today's my birthday, and I thought. See that? How it has like that slight little movement. That's pretty cool. Let's go to the first location. Has a little vignetting on the edges there. So Beautiful on, day in the see on the I shot. Figured, why not bring you guys around? On a little Maybe tour, it's a fish island see. instead on, of like a, a come GoPro. On the train, you know, or the Colt cycle. So yeah, it's my 23rd birthday, and this past year has honestly been pretty crazy for me. On this time about a year ago, I was just going full-time working for creators, but before all that, before filming, there was one YouTuber that I worked for for the first time, and that's where we're going right now. All right, so, so we the, here the, the, the beauty of Park. him riding a bike in New York and like the look and feel of it, it actually feels like New York, like the, the busyness, the shaking, everything, and being on a bike, hearing everything, seeing people, you know, watching you, um, and him talking about his journey as a creator or, you know, this last year in New York and doing it in this style just fits so well. And then I love how, like, you know, bing, Going and it just right hits now. to a static shot on sticks right here. And then you could see All right, him so we are here at coming the into Washington, Washington Square, Square Park. Park. The one thing I, I noticed in the first, like, two minutes is that the amount of angles he gets you know either it being wide shots and then on the bikes and then even like the close-ups of things but shout out cz kane and let's head to the next spot see another shot it shots that like not a lot of people would think of uh the bike going let's into the, the rack spot. boom pov shots right boom cutting to the beats boom Even this shot. You know, filming for Steezy was the coolest thing ever. So surreal. It's the first time I ever filmed for a YouTuber. And I remember just being hooked. A lot of these shots are so dynamic. You know, you get a sense of the environment, where they are. This is a train, Washington Square Park. And then there's like a lot of establishing shots, like lo location shots, and then getting right into it. The next person that I started working for, and we're headed there to meet him for the first time now. So let's go. Now, there's a ton of these Think Coffees around the city, but this Think Coffee's... You guys notice that little visual effect? 
Now there's a ton of these Think Coffees around the city. The Think Coffee? <laughs> I remember I ordered oatmeal and I was just eating my oatmeal and I look up and Elliot walks in. I'm like, yo, I'm meeting Kelly for the first time. Crazy to meet you. And he sits down with me and passed the time until Kelly came. That was just like the, super, the, cool, um, super surreal. I think the reason why this also is such a good video is because the places that he's talking to are very public places. And if you've ever tried to vlog or ever tried to shoot anywhere in public where there's people around, like, look how focused this guy next to him is, right? Uh, the majority of people would be, like, pretty scared to actually be doing this and talking about themselves or personal stories out in public. Even when he was at Washington Square Park and the people were just kind of chilling. Even on the escalator, in my head, I was like, man, there must be a lot of people that are trying to get by or walking, which actually makes it good. And the thing is that they're not paying attention. The other people actually just feel like characters that are paid actors. You know what I mean? Well, let's go to our next location. Let's go to our next location. The next part of I like how he used that audio under this shot as well to kind of like have a nice transition into it. That, <laughs> listen, listen. Oh, let's go to our next location. Let's go to our next location. Smooth. It makes it that much smoother. Me... The next thing I knew, I found myself at my favorite place in the world to pick up a lens for Casey Neistat himself. So I tried to pick up the lens, but they wouldn't give it to me because clearly I'm not Casey. There was no way I was failing, so I went full Karen mode Ooh. and I asked. What a good shot. The wording, the movement, the, the rack focus, which is amazing. It's a very, very fast autofocus. What I think is like it's on that the face recognition feature. Boom, as soon as he moves out of frame, uh, it centers on Casey's face and then, and then just rack focuses back. They wouldn't give it to me because clearly I'm not Casey. But the idea to like get to this place, see Casey's picture, have this idea, set up the angle is very, very creative. Very, very creative. And I give Colt permission to take the lens. Thank you. So I was just waiting there. I didn't want to disappoint Casey and I was just hoping that the video would work. <laughs> I love how... <laughs> So this shot is cool because this camera person is actually recording the TV that, you know, the shot is on. So this is, we're actually looking at the TV, uh, this footage. But it, you don't really notice because how crisp the audio is. The audio is still so good and it doesn't, doesn't make it like jarring from shot to shot. Even though we're just looking at a screen that is of a security camera. What? He, he's making it feel like a character, like a, you know, getting a shot of the actual lens inside the box and it's just rolling around. That's so good. I, I feel like he just put it in a box, sh sh shot it, and then just did one of these, but that was such a good shot. I you guys, and I'm really excited to show you. It's crazy how different shots could look because of the color. So like even this, like, you know, as opposed to like, and then everything is red. The light of the buildings, like look at the colors here and how dark it is, right? And then the sun hitting it here where this looks like pretty different. Uh, like the same building, different colors just because of the sunlight. If you are shooting out in public, you will find that shooting with the sun is great natural light i love it but it could also be your worst enemy <laughs> when you're when you're shooting so just be mindful when you're shooting and like you know make sure you you know what the day looks like when you're going out to shoot in public i love this shot like this is a, the darker shot a little security camera action oh and then a shot of it Like sleeping or something? Like, uh, fine. So good. You got any lights out here? I can't see a thing. Uh, it, it's a trash can. What do you expect? Uh, actually, I think I got something. The cake. Eh? Eh?
the amount of work that went into this video is amazing. This is what creators should be striving for. This whole skit and sequence of the secret entrance, buying the garbage can, putting it here, just the whole idea behind it, getting in it, and then just getting the shots and like recreating what a garbage, a secret entrance garbage would look like, putting like the plastic around. So good. Oscar, how much longer? I can't take it anymore. Cool. The music, the We're music. Right here. The change in lighting for the entrance or the exit, sorry. Movie magic right here. Movie right, thanks, Oscar. magic. For the video, nice. I have a little gift for you guys. Let's go to the roof. Ooh. Pretty crazy. Is that edit? See how he did those cuts? Uh, it's super subtle. But that cutting to the beat and the action of... What was he carrying? Whatever he's carrying, he's driving. Ooh. It's something as simple as that. But because the beat is so hard and it hits so hard, cutting actions to those beats elevates the video. Watch it again. Pretty crazy. Made it out to NYC finally. And I think what worked for me is I never really gave up on my dreams, you know? You just gotta hold on to them and keep chasing them. This video was so good. Shout out to Cole for doing his shit for one whole year. There's so many things that you could take from this video. One, the music was perfect. The amount of angles, the writing, and the, just the prep for all of this. The creativity overall is something that, I don't know, I haven't seen in such, such a long time. So if you guys want to watch Kelly's video, it'll be right here. Take it easy. Peace.